Hello everybody and welcome back to Attack of the B Team. We're just hanging out, flying on our dragon, you know how we do. No big deal. <laughs> uh, get back into the proper view, got our Ender backpack on. We are going to uh, head out and deliver the gifts today. So we head to the east, to the spawn village where Evo has set up. We can plow through this jungle in no time. This dragon is very fast, faster than my rendering speed, I guess. Come on, Minecraft, let's go. I think Blaze is set up in the uh, oh, other village to the north, so we can go check. Oh, shoot, come on. Woo wee! Thank you, feather falling. Don't hit shift. Uh. Wow. Uh, that was close. <laughs> I do have uh, the feather falling four rocking. Uh. Okay, he can stay there. Ha! <laughs> Yikes. All right. So this is the village Evo has been working on. Try not to spoil too much. I do want to find the iron golem. I thought there was an iron golem running around here. Uh, he mentioned the paint mixer crashes the game. <laughs> I have not gotten into painting. Ooh, he's got some witchery trees growing. Where is the iron golem? Hello? Hello? <laughs> backpack stack. Stack backpacks. Backpack stack. Last I heard, he had not gotten a... Oh, I bet he's up there, maybe? He has not gotten the Ender backpack. Um, let's go into bat mode. See if we can get an aerial view of the situation. I hear a baby zombie. Iron Golem? Oh, he is making emeralds. I guarantee it. Yep. Liquefied emerald. That crazy man. Alright, well, we will go over to his trees, drop off the gift. What is that? Conveyor belt into another one. Jeez Louise. Uh, he's got trees, trees. Let's go right here. Uh, bam. Oh, look at that little stubby. <laughs> and I think if I chop just one log out with this, it'll remain intact. Uh, crap. We're not going to be able to, uh, I should have made the other ones that open from the front. That's all right. And we stick our gift in. Let's give him a green one. And then we can put a log back. Aw yeah. And we can put one under it. Ha! Sweet. And a sign. Uh, graphical errors again, what do you know? Uh, what do we say, what do we say? Yeah. Tool. Pouch. Jefferson. Haha. <laughs> so it's kind of saying here's a tool pouch and also calling him a tool pouch <laughs> all right so break it holding shift there it is and that is done on to the next let's go to the north not sure what that is I think there is a village just to the north uh, to do to do to do let's go to the map yeah, we're on the right direction. Where is... I think Darth Tamanis is in this area also. 
So keep heading to the north. Nice area through here. Lots of berry bushes. I haven't picked uh, probably any berries on this server. I got the cow farm going right off the bat. Way to do it. All right, so yeah, this is definitely being built in. Oh, he's got solar panels, very cool. Wow, I have not seen these. Oh, that's cool. I am using the aqueous accumulator for my power. All right, so right, what the heck is that? Oh, it's a uh, break, uh, brontiosaurus, brachiosaurus. Uh, right here. That and that and bam. Ooh, he got a good tree. Ha. Ah. And give me my axe. Give me axe. Get that axe out of here. Get that axe out of here. Alright. Oh, we're gonna need the axe again. Thank you. And chest. Uh, do, 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 do. We will give him a blue one. There you go. And. What do we say? Yeah. Oh, I can't even see it. Tool. <laughs> Pouch. And I just realized we left our dragon behind. <laughs> All uh, right, we will get him soon enough, but I think Darth Tamanis is right over here. Yeah. Maybe? Maybe? Up here? Uh, ooh, witchery. No, not seeing it. All right, well, I'll go back, get my dragon find out where Darth's living and we'll be back. Alright everybody we are back. I have this new backpack for me. It's a scraper sack. I have uh, my scraper in it. We are going to start getting some cells. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's get into the proper view. Uh, I found this iron golem. Uh, Evo's village is across the water that way I believe. Uh, but I want some iron golem cells. Does that take away a hit points? Nope. How many cells is that? Give me mo. Give me mo. Um, not sure how many I will need. Let's put them in the sack. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, let's go one more. Thank you. Thank you. And then we're going to get these zombies. Where'd those zombies go? Oh, he's got armor on. What's up? <laughs> Make it rain scrapes. Alright, that's enough. Oh, I got his armor too. Crapper. And two heads off him. Really? He's got a friend coming. Oops. Haha! <laughs> Take that. Uh, right. Scrapers. Scrapers. So many cells. Awesome. Zombie. Iron Golem. Alright. It says. It says. Uh, golden boots. I don't want you. Any more skin cells? Nope. Alright, sweet. Uh, I guess we'll put that there and for now. Uh, I don't want the golden helmet. Alright, back to the dragon. Back to the dragon. Where is he? Hiya. Hello. Uh, we will stay in bat form. Uh, NV's base is just to the north. Uh, there is another village to the right. Maybe that is the spawn village. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. That berry bush. I mean, not that berry bush. The uh, cave over there. 
<laughs> um, so right here, tree and some bone meal. Let's go. Bam. Oh, I hope the dragon doesn't get in the way. There we go. Wow, that's a big one. All right. Uh, X. And we'll do both of them this time. Uh, uh, uh. Is that right? <laughs> uh, chesticle. No. Law. Dang it. Boop. Chest. And yeah, that'll line up. Here we go, here we go. I need my ender pouch. Doop. We'll give him yellow. Bam. Uh, ya -ta -ta -ta. Yeah. Tool. Pouch. And I did go back and sign the last sign. Forgot to put my name. And it's barely showing up on screen, but it does say ya yeah, tool pouch Jefferson. I hope it'll show for them. Alright, give me that. Bam. And the log. Sweet. We are out of here. Oh, come on. Come on. Fly away. Fly, fly away. I believe we are going to the north. Let's get back into F5. Ah! <laughs> Through the tree. All right, here we go. What happened? Nope, too many. Here we go. All right, I put a red dot on my map where I think Darth is building. It is just ahead. Man, this dragon's fast. So cool. And here we are. Let's park him right on the roof. Uh, back it up, back it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on now, come on now. Stay. Uh, we'll go right in the center. That and that. Uh, yeah, cha, 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 cha. Nice. Haha. <laughs> uh, not sure if these trees get chopped down with the uh, uh, Tinker's Construct axes, lumber axe. So it may be an issue with these bigger trees, but that's all right. They got a nice set of tools out of the deal. Where is his house? Front door's right there. There we go. We will. Uh, yeah, I always. Oh. Dang it, I thought I had an open hand. There we go. Uh, to do, we'll give him the black or gray or whatever it is. There you go. And let's just open this up. Uh, no gunpowder. I want to give him a stack of gunpowder. Bam. <laughs> there you go. Uh, logs. Oh, all right, I need to get in the proper view here. Boop. And bam. Sign me. Yeah. No, I hit. I can't see. I think that's right. Enter. Tool pouch Jefferson. Yes, sweet. Uh, so we will head to Colisimo's base. I will see you there. Quiet down over there, cheese. All right, everybody, we are over here at Colisimo's base, and it is just spread out through this mesa. Super chaos. Uh, <laughs> I was in his live stream and told him to make a house. Uh, he has his witchery over there. Animals over here. He took all of these weird things. I don't know what they are. Entity.creature.name. 
Uh, they are some weird looking things. There's a slime, turtles, bunny rabbits, I don't know. <laughs> what? Alright, so we have some dirt because there is no dirt here. Alright, let's go. Bam! Nice tree. Haha. <laughs> Get treed. <laughs> um, where'd, that, where'd that dirt go? Thank you. Alright, so. Chest. Once again. One more time. This is the last one. The last base that I know of. Uh, right. Yeah. Tool pouch. Jefferson. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, yeah, we need to put the tool pouch in there. Bam. Alright, so we'll give him white. Yeah. And that is all. Sweet. The uh, cool thing about this is if I ever want to attack him, I can go right through my portal hop back in the nether portal and it will link me to here <laughs> uh, it's funny but I'm going to hop on my dragon we'll fly home together it's pretty close get into uh, this view here go up and away I had quite uh, oh damn it don't die <laughs> As I was saying, I had quite a difficult time. Uh-oh. There he is. <laughs> On the way over here, I accidentally dismounted over water. And he... Why can't I click him? Open hand. He fell all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. I had to swim down and lead him. I could have safari netted him. I always have one of those on me. Ooh, is my sculpture over here? <laughs> yes. Uh, it'll probably be all glitchy. There I am. Little gargoyle, I think is the word. I wanted to say argyle, but that's a sweater style. <laughs> and we are back at the base. I have this set. Oh, frick. Frick, frick, frick. Wonder where the dragon landed. Hopefully not in the lava. He may have a short life. Oh, looks like he is up there on his home. And I put in a few lava source blocks, just two. And they created smooth stone at the bottom, which I thought was strange. I figured they would create cobble. Nice, he landed right on the platform. All right, leads. I need the proper view here. Oh, don't push him off the edge. Get over here. Lead broke. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can I push him? Push him? Get over there. Get over there. Nice. Yeah, give me my lead. Sweet. Hopefully he will stay right there safely. I do have like 14 more eggs. I'm not super attached to him. I'm going to be breeding more, but he will be the fastest. Very cool. All right, well, I am going to start building my uh, advanced genetics section here. And we'll be back once I have some machines made and we can start processing these. I want to get the resistance from the zombie and the extra hearts from the iron golem. And you can see more graphical issues. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. All right, everybody, we are back. I have installed the DNA analyzer, which is the first piece of equipment you need to get going in the genetics. Uh, I started running all of the skin scales. I deposit them in that chest. They go through here, and these items end up in this chest. Uh, it's already overflowing. Uh, so let's move all of these can't double click them in okay 
uh, yeah, I have these two chests here that I want to, actually I should have just made the chests and moved the cells into those chests so I don't have to move them twice. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I don't really like using these better storage uh, storage option because it's not really better. Uh, it doesn't give me the controls I need. All right, so we will, is that one empty? Whoops. Yeah, yeah. So let's bump these up. I just went off uh, on a caving mission, grabbed some obsidian also. These are the ores I gathered, and through all of these, I only got two shiny ingots, or pulverized shiny metal. Uh, so we are making, uh, whoops, did I just pick it up and deposit it? Hyper mode, hyper mode, making some endurium blend. Uh, where's my bucket? There it is. Uh, right. So once we have this, we can upgrade our uh, chests again. Where is the redstone furnace? We will go here. No, it doesn't go into a redstone furnace. Um, oh, it needs to be induction smelted with this stuff. Yeah, that's right. And I move my induction smelter to here. Uh, yeah, there we go. That will cook up into this. So now we have a supply. I didn't want to run out. I just made some more of the hardened glass also. Love uh, all of these upgrades here. We'll go like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, these chests are great. I love them. All right, there we go. That will be good. We need to make sure that they are are set to public access. Uh, if they are set to private, these do not pull any items out of it. Uh, but I'm out of skin scales. Sin skin scales? Yeah. Uh, but uh, we will come back to that next episode. I will figure out the process from here. Uh, once we have uh, derp, all of these, we can use those to make uh, the book. And this book is used throughout making all of the equipment. Uh, so the first step is done. We are on our way into the advanced genetics. I also finished this off. I have all of the logs collect here. There's a lever down there that releases them into the furnace. We can get it going. How many? 43 there. Yeah, I'll let it run for a few minutes, but this switch activates that release valve, and this switch activates that one. I do need to set up, I'll look into the red power stuff. Uh, maybe I can set it up to one switch. Oh, I missed the succession, but it does go in succession. Very cool. Um, so yeah, we'll let that run. That will power everything. And this is a new addition to the power core. Uh, the redstone energy cell hooked up to redstone energy conduit, which, uh, let's look at that. Conduit. This is what I have been using, which is a very low rate of 80 RF per ticks. And... Yeah, that's the next step up. I sh could switch everything to that, uh, but I went all the way to this. 10,000 RFs per tick. That is a huge jump. Oh, conduite. Get out of there. Thank you. But these two are hooked up to the system, so they input the regular power, but they only output the uh, redstone conduit. Those lead up to my grinders and my spawner. This is hooked up to that, and so is that one, which this consumes a lot of power. It was not spawning very many entities per tick. 
Uh, but it is now. Actually, it doesn't have any juice. I think we'll be safe. Pop the creepers in there. Shut the door. And we'll just give it a minute. There it goes. It's spawning. Oh, holy cow. We keep getting trophies. And I set it up so that they drop potions now. Very rarely. But there's an electric fence right there. And one under both spawners. Uh, I'm not sure how much in detail I've shown you this, but I use the block mover, block teleporter, to uh, move two witch spawners into this room. Very cool, very productive, as you can see. This thing is just uh, always full. Very productive, it's great. That's like my fourth witch trophy. But uh, yeah, now they take a little bit of damage and start drinking a healing potion, which sometimes, if they get killed at the right moment, they will drop that potion. And look at that, instantly we have full room of creepers. It's super productive. 50 gunpowder in that little bit of dime. And we can shut that off now. It's chaos. Once I installed that uh, redstone conduit, it just went berserk. So if you're having power issues, definitely upgrade to the redstone conduit with the redstone energy cell. Uh, but yep, my witch spawner, my mob spawner, working awesome now. The uh, grinders have no problem keeping up. And this is always full. Very cool. But I think that's going to do it for today. Delivered all of the packages to the bases that I'm aware of. And got our foot into the advanced genetics. Awesome. So I will uh, work on that. And next episode we will be uh, genetically modifying ourselves. <laughs> that is just crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's a good place for it. I'll be spending a lot of time here going back and forth and wait for it. Wait for it. Ha ha ha. Hope you guys could hear that electric fence noise. It's great. Like a little bug zapper. Uh, but yeah, until next time, as always, thank you. Ooh, I'm a bat. I will see you later.